Hey Z Stars, I hope you're having a fantastic 2019 so far. So thank you for joining me once again if you've been here before. And if you've never been here before, howdy, how you doing? My name is Zara, aka FXR, and I'm here to bring you a much anticipated video. Actually, I really don't know who's been anticipating this video, but it's really important. We all have curly hair weaves that we've struggled with that have turned into giant balls of something. <laughs> and we're looking for pertinent information regarding how to revive our hair. Now I've tried boiling this hair, I've tried putting fire on this hair, just kidding, I haven't done that. But the boiling method typically works for me and it didn't this time, so I'm going to show you all exactly how to revive your curly hair when nothing seems to be working. <laughs> Before we get into it, I want to talk to you guys quickly, find out how you're doing, how's 2019 for you all, let me know what your New Year's resolutions were. For me, obviously, one of my biggest resolutions is to upload more frequently for you all, so please let me know down below exactly what you'd like me to film for you guys, and let me know what you promised yourself to be better at this 2019. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Please be sure to comment down below. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. I know you know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody with curly hair that's looking like a mop. So <laughs> share this video with that person. And last but certainly never least, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Uploads here are Tuesdays and Saturdays. So be sure to stay tuned for my next video thank you guys let's get right into it so this is an eight step process super simple super easy well super straightforward depending on the severity of your hair it may not necessarily be super easy but it's really straightforward and you're going to see the light at the end of this tunnel, I promise you we're gonna get through this together. Like you guys, this hair was a hot mess prior to me embarking on this journey, but now it's looking real Slay Mama-ish or whatever. <laughs> so let's get right into this. You're going to lightly finger detangle your hair. If you're like me, you probably roll around the floor with your curly hair, rough house with your friends, Maybe throw your hair down any and anywhere, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. These kinds of actions cause a ton of matting, you guys, especially in the kitchen, aka the nape of the neck. I've always struggled, at least with this particular hair, with the nape just locking up, like literal dreadlocks. Finger detangling is really going to help loosen up a lot of the matting and tangling prior to detangling further. It's gonna make your job much easier. It's also going to ensure that you lose less hair and we don't wanna be losing hair, so. The next step is to wet the hair. I personally observed that wetting my kinky or curly hair extensions loosens up the matting even more. If you're very patient during step one, it's really going to make a huge difference. If you just pop some water on there and you don't do step one, you're probably going to have an even worse time. So make sure you're very thorough, again, in step one before you put water on the hair. Be sure that when you're applying the water, the hair is going in one direction. You don't want it to just like lock up and tangle up again. No, 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 no. And there are two methods. Now my first method is spraying the hair with warm water. My second method is dunking the hair in a bucket very gently and very gradually. I don't just like plop it in there. I take my time to do piece by piece, gently finger detangling as I'm lifting the hair out of the bucket. Use a detangler. This is so important. The reason why it's really essential to use a detangler is because it will soften the hair. That's number one. Number two, it will help the cuticle to lie down really flat so the hair glides past itself a lot more easily. My favorite detangler is actually the Cantu for natural hair detangler. I'm gonna put that in the description box down below. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in my favorite product video, which you guys can check out like, right? Is it this side? No, it's this side. You guys can check that out right here. I also use it on my natural hair. It's a really, really fantastic detangler. Super effective and it does not give me any issues. 
going to very gently and very patiently detangle the hair. I cannot stress this enough, y'all. I've had some interesting struggles with this hair. Generally, I'm quite gentle when it comes to dealing with curly extensions. And I have other curly hair that literally will like be a hot mess. And I put in the least amount of effort to revive it. For this hair, it's definitely a lot more high maintenance than other hair I've dealt with. Anywho, I kinda am digressing. <laughs> when it comes to very gently and patiently detangling, you're gonna to wanna to take your brush. I use my temp brush, I also use my tangle teaser. They're going to start from the bottom and work your way up. If you come to any tangles, they're just not trying to come out with that kind of detangling. Make sure you pause, don't rip at it. It could be frustrating, I know, I know. Trust me, I know very well. You put down your brush and you take those fingers and you go back to gently working out the tangles. Co-wash the hair. Now this is extremely important. After doing all of this, you're not going to want to use shampoo. Shampoo could potentially dry out the hair. Now what I observed with this hair is that initially, when I was co-washing, it was super soft. I didn't even really need to condition or deep condition. I would do like mild treatments, but as the hair got more mature, I would co-wash and it would be really, really crusty, dusty, wussy. If you guys can actually recommend some great conditioners for hair extensions, please do so down below. Your girl needs it. Now I definitely refrain from shampoo, period, period. Like I'm not about to do that to this hair. And I do not advise that you do that to your hair either. And now with your natural hair, I would definitely recommend shampooing. But with this kind of hair, be sure to only co-wash it and make sure that the co-wash lenses is enough. The water should be running clear prior to applying your conditioner. Sure you're deep conditioning with a very slippery and very moisturizing conditioner. Now the reason I'm saying this is because this step is also going to serve as a further detangling session because okay you've gotten all the dirt and the gunk out of the hair. The hair is clean. It should still be very very detangled but you want to make sure that each little knot is out of that hair so you don't suffer the same fate the next time around. Now in order to help the deep conditioner penetrate the hair shaft very very well, I don't boil it because like I said boiling is not working for this hair anymore. What I have resorted to doing is putting it in the microwave for approximately two minutes. <laughs> now I just put it in a glass bowl and I cover it with microwave safe saran wrap and I just pop it in there a minute, let it do its thing. After that minute I like flip it over, shake it around. I let it microwave for another minute. And this has actually really, really helped revive this hair. So after you've done all of that, the hair should be really shiny, really sleek, and super duper detangled. Once you've ensured that that is the case, it's time to wring the hair out and then allow it to air dry. Now I like to put my hair on my wig stand and then my wig head and I just let it air dry. I never ever ever use heat on my curly hair because I wanted to retain as much moisture as possible and I'm not trying to have a repeat of the horror that I just experienced with all this matting and tangling. As the hair is drying before it's completely dry, make sure you apply a little bit of leave-in and a little bit of serum. In this environment, it's extremely dry, so you need to make sure that you're giving your hair the right product so it doesn't get all tangled and matted up like, you know, mine did. <laughs> But of course, you don't want to be too heavy handed because sometimes product is the reason why hair mats more quickly. Now it's important to find the right balance. I know some people like to gel their hair, you know, wear that like mammy water. Look. There are other people that enjoy that effortless girl next door kind of look. Guys, I don't know, I hope with all of my rambling and all over the placeness, you still understood what was going on in this video. I mean, I missed you guys. I wasn't gone that long. I was enjoying my life in Lagos, to be honest. I feel like I need to start making Nigeria vlogs because I've been having such a good time in life lately. Like, <laughs> I've just been shopping life, eating food, going out, having fun, experiencing new things. So maybe I should vlog for you guys, right? Um, you guys have to let me know. I'm gonna put a poll like right here. Should I vlog or should I not? Would you guys watch my Nigeria vlog? Would you watch vlogs when I go back home to America? 
Would you watch vlogs when I go to other countries? Again, I'm digressing. I guess I'm just talking because I missed you guys so much. I hope this video was really helpful though. Be sure to follow me on Instagram so you can see all my sexy pets. Be sure to follow me on Twitter so we can interact with one another. Be sure to follow me on Snapchat. I'll post on there, I guess. And Facebook as well. Be sure to comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. It would mean so much to me. It would inspire me to keep creating beautiful content for you all. And it lets you two know that you enjoy my content. Be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. And last, but again, never, ever, 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 ever least, <laughs> be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Let me know what other tip you have down below for reviving hot mess wigs because you know, it's 2019, we're trying to slay by fire by force in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. And again, I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now.